guys welcome back to my channel for a talk and twist video i know i'm looking hella crazy i started taking my braids out today and i decided why not just turn on the camera vlogist just finished up on tuesday today is friday i know it's only been a couple days but i miss you I'm talking to you, baby. Are you dumb? I took a couple days off, but like, who am I fooling? I couldn't leave you guys for this long. However, I have nothing to talk about y'all. So I thought I would do this talking twist a little bit different and reintroduce you guys to Convo and Chill. I showed you guys this card game that I bought last year. Um, I remember I was still staying at the rented condo that I was in. Um, me and the girls had a little drinking night, girls night in, we pulled out these cards and we answered some of the questions on camera. If you guys missed those videos though, you can definitely check them out, they're quite entertaining. But what it is, it is a set of cards, 99 to be exact, and they are controversial conversation starters. You can use them as a party game. I like to set them on my table and like guests just naturally gravitate towards them. Um, I also think, I've said this before, the perfect housewarming gift, this and a bottle of wine amazing and um best part black owned i picked mine up on amazon you can get it on amazon us or canada i will link it down below if i'm being completely honest i feel like i may have cut a little bit too short but um you know me guys like i'm not here for length so you know it is what it is so don't worry about it save your horror now <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick a card. I'm just gonna pick like right off the top. I'm not gonna shuffle or anything like that. Do you believe in the marriage vow until death do us part or is it circumstantial for you? Moving right along. Um, if your life was a novel, what would the title of the book be and why? I think the title of my novel, the novel of my life would be, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because if I'm being quite honest, like you guys, I am just out here winging the hell out of this thing called life. I get asked for advice on various topics all the time because people think that I be handling shit well, but I'm not, you guys, I am not okay. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna just keep living life, I'm gonna do it anyways and just figure it out as I go along. I think it makes you feel a little less alone in the world just knowing that we're all out here <laughs> winging it. Which is worse for you in a relationship? Lack of trust or lack of communication? This one is actually a really easy one for me to answer to be honest. It's definitely, definitely lack of trust. I definitely think that poor communication in a relationship is very hard to navigate and eventually will even lead to like the deterioration of the relationship. But if there's a lack of trust, then whatever communication we have is really pointless. It's useless because I can't even trust what you're communicating to me. So for me, the answer is clear cut and definite lack of trust. And that is something that I will never, ever tolerate in future relationships or friendships. Whose opinion weighs more to you when deciding who you want to be with in a long-term relationship, your parents or your friends? I feel like this is possibly a question for the young ones. I don't know. I think maybe this would be more of a hard decision for somebody that was in their teens or possibly in their early 20s still living at home where their parents um still have a very heavy influence over their day-to-day -day lives uh, for me i'm in my 40s girl um yeah it's definitely not going to be my parents also my parents are much farther away in terms of you know age group and what it means to really date currently. 
than my friends would be. So I think for me, my friends' opinions would hold a lot more weight because my friends, our lifestyles are a lot closer in terms of, you know, age group. Um, a lot of my friends are also entrepreneurs. A lot of my friends are child free. A lot of my friends understand what life looks like for me personally um, because their lives also look like mine. So that would hold a lot more weight to me. Which celebrity's death affected you the most? I don't deal well with death, you guys. Like, I know it is the only certain part of life and that it is inevitable and it's just the circle of life. You know, like I get all that, but it doesn't matter how many times you tell me that. I still just do not deal well with it. So if I'm being completely honest, any celebrity's death, that I felt some sort of parasocial connection to affected me. I think we can all kind of say that Michael Jackson's death was huge for us. Well, at least people in my generation because that was an artist that we all grew up with. So that I feel like was a very memorable celebrity death for me. I like, I even remember where I was and what I was doing the day. However, more recently, the one that really like, I couldn't shake for a long time was Chadwick Boseman. Not because I necessarily felt like us a, a connection to him, but because he just seemed like a genuinely good person. It was just this overwhelming feeling of unfairness like this is not fair you know what i mean out of all of the people in the world out of all the celebrities in the world it just made me really upset that he had to suffer like that so as connected as i felt to michael jackson you know as a kid i actually wanted to be michael jackson like <laughs> i had the jerry curl i had the red leather jacket i had the leather pants i had the patches the buttons i had all of it girl as 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 much as i <laughs> i loved MJ um Chadwick Boseman's death I think affected me more um yeah I think it affected me more it was just much harder to shake that feeling of helplessness especially being older like this was we lost him a year ago uh, almost exactly a year ago the older you get of course the more you um have to face your own mortality should people be given jail sentences for animal cruelty? I mean, is that obvious? I think that's an obvious one. Why wouldn't they be given jail sentences? Did you guys ever watch that documentary on Netflix called um, Never Fuck With Cats? I never watched it. Like, I can't bring myself to watch it. It keeps popping up in my recommended because I love documentaries, but... I haven't been able to bring myself to watch it yet. So if any of you have watched it, let me know in the comment section if it's worth the watch or not. Who is your celebrity crush? This was in the initial set. This is a repeat question. Y'all know who my celebrity crush is. It's Drake. I do not tolerate any Drake slander in my presence. I'm a certified lover girl, okay? I... I love Drake. If you were a step parent, how would you want your stepchild to address you? Your first name or mom or dad? Me, myself, personally, you can call me by my name because I am not trying to be nobody's mama. Like, yeah, I'm not trying to be nobody's mama. So you can call me by my name. Um, you know, I grew up in a Jamaican household, which I think a lot of Caribbean households to be honest, I feel like any household other than white emphasizes showing respect to adults from children. So we often put auntie in front of somebody's name. Um, so yeah, that's fine with me. Auntie, Tony, Miss Tony, whatever you want to call me. But mom is not it because I'm not your mama. And I'm not a step parent and I actually have no desire to be a step parent. Like, I just don't want that for me, you know? So, so if my dating pool started here, believe me guys, right now it's about here because I have, I know, I know what I want my life to look like in terms of 
age group, I think that I would date anywhere from somebody in their mid 30s to early 50s. So that kind of minimizes my pool there. Um, in terms of race, I will only be dating black. Um, so that minimizes it there. In terms of occupation, I'm not picky, but you must be occupied. Um, so <laughs> that's another stipulation. And in terms of kids, like I don't want any and I don't want yours either. So to be honest, that is what minimizes my dating pool the most because I think that most of the people who do approach me who are interested particularly within that age bracket already have kids all that to say <laughs> all that to say that this question is definitely hypothetical for me but if i did date somebody with children i would not want them to call me mom like no chance oh this is a good one i bet y'all want to know this when was the last time you cried? The last time I cried was today.